Hey everyone, this is Amrit. I'm going to be showing you how to do the Raspberry Pi disk image setup. So, first we're going to open Safari and we're going to go to raspberrypi.org. Wait for it to load. You want to go to Downloads. Once it's at Downloads, you see there's multiple options. I like to go with the Raspbian because it's already ready to boot and it's got preset stuff for the Raspberry Pi. You just want to click on download zip and it should start downloading. As you can see it's a 1.04 gig file. It sees it's a pretty long file so I've already downloaded it. It's on my desktop right here. So next you want to open disk utility. Once Disk Utility opens, you can see I have a 3.9 GB SD card. You want to go to Erase, make it, make sure it's the FAT format, and I'm just going to name it Raspberry. And you just want to hit Erase. You can click Erase. Just give it a minute or two, and as you can see in the bottom, there's progress going on. Now it's complete. I'm going to be closing this. I'm going to be going to now google.com. Just add a little typo there. Oops. Let's go to google.com. Now that I'm at google.com, I'm going to search apple pie baker. The first link is the one we need at tweakingforall.com. I'll make sure the link's in the description. Once we're there, you just want to quickly scroll down. If you want, you can read through. You want to select the Download Apple Pie Baker. That's the preferred one. If you do not have the Raspberry Pi, I'm sorry, the Mac admin password, you want to use the non-sudo version below. As you can see, it's just a 3 megabyte download and it's done. You want to click open. You want to enter your admin password so that the program can properly install the disk file of the Raspberry Pi onto the SD card. As you can see, this is the program uh, waiting for a recipe. Um, we can see there's the files. I'm going to select the SD card I formatted a few minutes ago. And I want to select restore backup. When I click that, it's going to show me where I can select the file. I'm going to select Raspbian Wheezy. Now I want to click on nothing as it's going to automatically find the file. And as you can see on the right, there is some progress going on with the SD card and the program is getting set up and we'll start writing immediately. Just give it a minute. And as you can see now, it says baking IMG recipe and it's giving you an ETA and a speed as well. I am using a class 4 SD card and it does take some time so just give it a few minutes. Mine says around 11 minutes so I let it run for 11 minutes. In my next video I'm going to be showing you how to set up the SD card boot system on the Raspberry Pi Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.